Hey squad, hey, it's Bianca from Plan Live Budget. How are you today? Happy, happy Halloween, you guys. Ah, super excited. Let me know what you guys are doing. Our neighborhood is actually pretty quiet, so we actually don't have any trick-or-treaters, which is fine. We got home from work. I ate some dinner. Filmed a little bit of a haul, so that's why I still have stuff on my desk. But we are here to play the game murder mystery emergency room this is from hands and bands and i went ahead and i was reading the directions so here's the backstory you guys are going to help me we're going to play this okay this is this is this is what we're doing for halloween you're a new detective on your third case. You enter a hospital at 2 a.m. Monday morning. The call came in just a few hours earlier. One of the psych patients escaped and stabbed a nurse and doctor on another floor. The nurse didn't make it and the doctor's in critical condition. You're unable to speak to the doctor. There's no record of the psych patient. Oh, that's bad. And the nurse isn't an employee of the hospital. Well, what the heck? She's a traveler like me. This is rude as hell. <laughs> the patient refuses to speak to anyone except the doctor, but you're not sure the doctor will make it. Save the amount shown on the clue card. Mark the amounts on the tracker. Use the clues to solve the mystery. Once all the clue cards are revealed, make your guess. Save the amount on the solution envelope to open the answer. $20. Were, were your predictions correct? Clues. Open the red numbers first. Black numbers build from there. So day one is red. And then day two, I guess. Yeah. Uh, save the solution envelope for last. Okay. So let's do it. I love this whole blood splatter true crime thing. I'm excited. Okay, so I tallied this up first. Oh my gosh, I hope we have enough money. Maybe we don't. Oh no. I thought this was $100. So let's get to coloring. Let's see. Not a red. We're going to do red, right? I think so. So let's see. We have... 15, 30, 30, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, just want to make sure. We'll color that in a little bit later. So here we have the 100 for that, okay? We're not cheating. So day one clues. Oh, did I write it on here? This is supposed to be $40. Oh snap, you guys. Oh, you pay the clues. Oh, okay, and these are all red. So, okay. So for five, 10, 15, 25, uh, 40. Okay, so we might not have enough money, you guys. We might have an IOU. <laughs> I have some money next to me from leftover when we I went shopping to get my coat. So, so far we have this one, so let's try this. The nurse has no ID, is dressed in scrubs, and their phone is password protected. Okay. The psych patient's intake form is found. They were admitted by their brother. Okay. The doctor is married. No one knows the doctor's personal person personally. Okay. And the emergency contact number listed just continues to ring. Okay, I'm getting nowhere. Do you guys, are you guys get having more luck than me? You find the doctor's personal cell phone in their locker. There are no missed calls. Okay, okay. Does that mean his wife isn't calling him? Is that why? 
don't know. I'm thinking. During the interview with the security guard, you find the footage of the patient being escorted into the hospital an hour before they escape. Oh, so they just got admitted by their brother. Interesting. Okay. How much is day two? Day two is 40. Well, you know, let's see. We might have an ILU because I only have 10, 20, 30, 35. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay. We can continue without feeling guilty. But we're probably going to have an IOU with the solutions, which is fine. Okay. So, 5, 10, 20, oh, I have 10, 15, 25, 40. Okay. The nurse car keys are found. You search the parking lot and find their vehicle. It is registered to Robert Blair. Oh, mm. the nurse is not an actual nurse. Oh, okay. Wait, who's Robert Blair? Is that the doctor? The doctor is awake. You are able to hear them say one thing before the meds kick in. Robbie. Ooh, whoa. Robbie could be short for Robert. You tell the patient the doctor is alive, but the nurse didn't make it. He tells you his wife is a liar. Is his wife the nurse? And is she having an affair with the doctor? I don't know. This is some Grey's Anatomy. You're able to view the nurse's body. You recognize the face from the security footage. So she came in, the footage, the security guard, you found the footage of the patient being escorted into the hospital. So she brought the hospital, but it says that was admitted by their brother. I wonder if brother is Robbie. I don't know. I'm so confused. Let's see. Okay, so the solutions I wrote down as that's 20, so we might owe this challenge $20, but that's okay. No, wait, this is the solutions. Okay, so wait, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Okay, so what do you guys think? Who do you think it is? <gasps> okay. So, if the nurse is an actual nurse, right? And he said, my wife is a liar. So maybe the nurse is the wife of the patient. And maybe she, he was having a an affair. But why would he say the nurse, is, his wife is a liar? Hmm. Do you guys know? Let me know down in the comments. Start yelling at me. I'm sure you guys are yelling at me. All right. Are you guys ready to see who did it? Because I have no idea. So I won't quit my day job and become a detective because I don't know. Is it Robbie? I don't even know. Okay, ready? One, two, three. The doctor is the patient's wife. She was having an affair with Robbie and Robbie tried to get rid of her husband long enough for them to run away. He drugged him and checked him into the psych ward. The drugs wore off too quickly. <gasps> oh. Well, I was right about the doctor having an affair. And for some reason, I was thinking the doctor was a male, which I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well then, let me know when you guys were right. <laughs> I was... Not really. I had one guess. One guess. And it was not right. Okay. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. This was really, really cute. Again, this is from Hands and Bands. Super cute. I think if I took, if I, I think if I reread everything, maybe. I don't know who I'm kidding. I wouldn't have gotten it right. I don't think. But that was fun. 
I hope you guys had fun with me. We'll just have an IOU for the murder mystery, or I'll just put it into the envelope. I don't know. Well, I could owe it $20. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, guys, that is it. We are done. So I'm going to go ahead and put this money here. I'll write an IOU. So then I know. Where did I put my IOUs? I don't know. I rearranged my desk. What do you guys think? You guys probably can't even see it. So is it in my drawer? I mean, that would make sense. I'm going to show you guys my desk. And I'll look for my IOU later. So we're going to zoom out. I'm not going to make you sick, hopefully. But so I have my binders here. I'm getting new binders. So stay tuned. <laughs> um, but I did put those in the A5. That's Miss Donna's. My travel. The yearly holiday. Um, high and low sinking funds. But now we'll have the um, Mean Girls one. And then I got this new turning thing from TJ Maxx, I believe we were there. Um, it's, th it's supposed to be for the bathroom, but it was perfect for my markers because I got the skinny markers and I have my fat markers. And I was like, I want it all together. I still have my original one over here with my permanent markers and all that jazz is over here. But yeah, so I don't have that other thing holding all of my IOUs. My crystals are still here. But yeah, that's what my desk situation is looking like. All of my happy mail is all over the place. We're just going to ignore the mess. But yeah, that is it, you guys. I am going to look for my IOUs. Oh, found it. So for that Cindy Cat budget, where's my Halloween one? Here it is. Here's one of them. So then I'm going to write that I owe $20 to this challenge. I'm going to paper clip it and I'll have it to the side. But that is it, you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, safe Halloween. Let me know what you guys did. I would love to know. I, like I said, I was at work. There was someone dropped up as Michael and I missed it. I am so sad. Um. We worked a little bit later today than what we did before what we're used to. So I think that's why. But he was passing out candy. And I'm like, I wanted to make Michael. That's not fair. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you guys are watching this. And happy Halloween. Bye.